What's up guys, this is TKD Kevin and we are playing Resident Evil 7. So, um, we are Ethan once again and um, yeah, it seems that Mia has sacrificed herself in there. Hopefully, <laughs> I made the right choice earlier giving her the serum because she seems okay, to be infected bitch. again. What the fuck are you? Yeah, that's right Ethan, we're gonna fuck her up. Seems to still be in the ship though. I have no items. Ah, oh, my poor custom shotgun. Hopefully I get that back. Uh, it's... What? It's all your fault. Hmm. Oh god, I am this is dark. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I'm back outside. I wasn't expecting this. Am I going back to the house? Like, what the fuck? Trophy into the depths. Ugh, the nasty bayou dips. Come on down. We got dead fish and helicopters. What the fuck? Somebody know we're here? <gasps> Strange. Alright, well. This looks just lovely. What is this, like, oil rig? I have no idea where I'm going. Swim, swim, swim through the dirty stuff. Okay, well. Where are we? I hear a radio. What does it say? Abercrombie Salt Mine South Dolby. Enhanced handgun ammo. Thank you, yeah. Oh, what the fuck's this? February 18th, 1892. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tuan, uh, Tuan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. The old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. February 19th, 1892. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Hmm. I didn't know this was talking about J.C. Penney. Uh, what the fuck is that? Is that a helicopter? Are they watching us from that helicopter? What is this like? Umbrella tri cell stuff? Like, Umbrella is pretty much done, kinda. Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find Alpha anything? Stars? Search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Hey, Repeat, I'm alive. Zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can oh. probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna oh, go out. Okay. Home. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, Orders are shoot to kill. <laughs> shoot Repeat. to kill. Shoot right. to kill. Yeah, good luck with that. All right. Um, they are either the BAS members that, like Chris Redfield, Leon, and all them are part of. Ship swamp lamp, lab lamp. I love lamp. Oh, oh no. Do I have enough for that? Oh, I wasn't even close. Damn it. Um. Oh, okay, so I have my box. So, um, the BSA, BAAS, or I forgot what it is, but basically they're against, like, Umbrella, Tricell, and all of them, so. Yes. <laughs> so, I have a machine gun. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll continue what I'm saying while I put all those lovely weapons back together. Um, so, they're either that or... Umbrella or Tricell or whatever evil organizations now starting to do this stuff because um, we 
I already kind of know that Mia was part of something, basically taking the Evelyn project. So, um, she's part of it. So it's got to be either one of them or or like Mia is probably part of the bad guys that made the whole program. And I don't know if that's Umbrella's lackeys trying to find what happened. I'm having trouble doing this. All right, I have a lot of first aid. Where's my handgun? All right, take the knife and my handgun. Shotgun shells, yes, please. I don't think I'm going to take the burner, to be honest. Machine gun, yes. Remote bomb, yes. Machine gun ammo. Handgun ammo. Handgun ammo, handgun ammo. Oh, damn. Which one's stronger? Standard power acquired on the wrecked ship. Uh, that's a good question. Which one's stronger? Uh, can I make anything? I have like five herbs. I don't have any chemicals. I do not. No, that's okay. I will take one though. Alright, so I seem to be packing now. Things are going our way. Oh, I wish I had Magnum ammo. Or Magnum. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I, I totally do not have enough. Damn. I must have missed those coins somewhere. Alright, at least I get this. Yes, please. I'm so much stronger. Okay, alright, well. Let's rearrange things. Knife can go there, that's fine. Actually, switch. No, switch. Boom, boom. Alright, I'll take that. That strong handgun ammo too, right? Can't get rid of the serum. Well, you know what I might do is this. Put the bomb up there. Well, actually, I'll, I'll save it. Save it, save it. Oh, so many hard decisions. Yeah, I have too much handgun ammo. I don't need that much. Hopefully. Uh, machine gun ammo. Normal handgun ammo. Normal handgun ammo. Shotgun rounds. Healing. Alright, I feel pretty good with this. You know what? I'm gonna take one of you. Alright, we're fucking loaded. Cool. Oh, and I got my custom shotgun back. Alright, let's save this. Hold on. And we are saved. Awesome. Alright, so. Let's go fuck shit up. Oh, I will miss you dearly. I have one coin. I will use it on you. If only I could break that open. I needed eight more. The fuck? <laughs> I don't know where I missed that at. Alright, well. I like that. Yeah, actually. There we go. Let's reload this shit. Strong handgun ammo. Oh, damn. I have 19 strong handgun ammo rounds. I will take that, Tanker. Oh, and Kemp Loot. Alright, so now I have four healing items. I'm cool with that. Oh, fuck. It's you guys. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> I'm such a sharpshooter. Those do well. Oh, are you still alive? Okay, no. Oh, God. Fuck off. Oh, damn. There's a lot of you. I don't know what I just picked up. Oh, fuck. Ah. Fuck off. <laughs> 
Is there more? God damn, that was a lot of guys. Machine gun ammo, yes, thank you. And what's in this? Ooh, shotgun rounds, I will take that. God damn, I have 40 shotgun rounds. Sweet. I'm reload. No, it's alright. Okay, cool. So it is enhanced handgun ammo. It really does the trick. Bing! And down into the salt mines we go. Holy shit, that's dark. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. I think we have reached the final boss area. Okay. What do we got? I have a feeling we're gonna run into a lot of things. Oh. Like one. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck you, dude. He's like, no, nah, I wanted to play. Ugh. Oh. I think we found out where Lucas is hanging out. Watch out. Really? No. Do I have to worry about these boxes, too? No. Doesn't seem like it. Damn. Okay. So far, okay. Mm, lovely noises. What do we have? We have... I don't know what I just picked up. Or something. No, I hear something. Oh. Fuck off. Oh, you seem to be stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, fuck this. <laughs> Two for one. Oh, I just got a trophy. Less is more. Oh, God. I almost ran into that one. Alright, hold on. I think I'm too close. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, let's continue on. Seems like there's a lot in these mines. Hello? Hello? Ethan here to fuck up your day. Don't fuck up mine. God damn, this place is big. Why is it making that noise? Ah, oh, okay. Oh shit. Fuck off. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm invincible, bitch. That's right. Alright, um, where was I going? Anything over here? Okay, that looks like it continues on. God damn, this is a maze. I've yet to use the remote bombs in here, so. But at least I have that as a backup. Anything? Yep. Um, uh, sad face. I'm not gonna pick it up because there's no way, unless I find eight antique coins all of a sudden, there is no way I'm getting that magnum. Only in my dreams. All right, what do we got? Is this like until dawn all of a sudden? What? What? Ah, uh, what? What? Okay, that's closed off. Oh, uh, you're behind me, bitch. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Eh, eh, eh. Eh. Oh, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I was like, why is the music still playing? There you go. Happy birthday. Uh, oh, I probably could have pushed it into it. Alright, well. 
so strong. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna keep the remote bombs there. Because I don't see us using the knife. <laughs> Plus, there might be that chance that one of the uh, the bombs are inside that little box thing. Little present from Lucas. I hope we get to fuck him up. The guy's a douche. Oh, I see you. Switch this out. Explosion. All right, here's somebody. Hello. Shoot you. Okay. So far, none. But I'm getting a lot of ammo, that's for sure. It's like they're almost prepping me for the last boss fight. Oh, boy. Oh, that time it was. I think you're so clever. But you're not. I smarter than you. What the fuck? Okay, I will take that. What does that say? Where's my mower? Everybody, something. Oh, he's concerned about his mower. Two, blah, 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 blah. I can't read that. It looks like my handwriting. Set Friday, January 16th, 2015. This is like two years ago. Thanks to you guys, it's been a, about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Oh, so Lucas is kind of like cleared out of it. So how does he regenerate though? Mom and dad are totally still under though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Friday, November 4th, 2015. 2.10 a.m. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I lock her up in her cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia is her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia is her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. So he's sending this to either Umbrella, Tricell, or one of them. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around. But it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever somebody new comes along. So he's been... So the reason why the Baker family's been able to do this as long as they have is because of Lucas. He's kind of keeping them in check. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly. And she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Grandma. Oh my god. I fucking love this game. If it... Oh my god, so... Is Evie grandma? Oh, this is a lab. Oh, shit. So this whole time, Evelyn's been like, just sitting there. Oh my god. Alright. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with the E-series weaponized assets. Here for... Uh, here for yeah, but that mold is talked. It's named mold. Initial infections. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body, propagate itself, slowly taking it over. Side effects include remarkable degenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found out they they were able to co-apt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune 
with those of the E series asset. Subject starts to hear things, experience hallucinations, and soon comes under control of the E series asset. If the state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Okay, so that's how. So basically, Evelyn is controlling everybody using the bacteria. So basically, take over their minds. See, this is what Umbrella had a problem with. You make a T virus. Yeah, okay, you killed all your enemies, turned them into zombies, but you know what? You're not going to be able to get that back, though. You have to go in and kill all the zombies. This, though, they can control minds and stuff like that. Okay. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all results in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject, the stage would be di extremely difficult. Well, uh, mom and pop did it. Wait, was there anything on the back? Can I rotate it? Nah, no, there's nothing on the back. Well, fuck. We are straight up playing Resident Evil 1 now. This is like a lab. Five minutes after dose vomiting. Ugh. E t neurotoxin. E series dose shits test. Twelve minutes after dose cell calcification. Ten minutes after dose death. Huh. That looks like Evelyn kinda chilling in there. What the hell is this? Target acquired. The fuck? E neurotoxin. Destroy cells of the subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of the E series assets. Toxin must be first stimulated before use. Do not do this by placing a sample of the E series cells into the neuro. Place the shit in there. Okay. Let's do that. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. So. Lucas has had a cure this whole time. Ah. You know what I thought too? Uh, when Lucas is talking to Evelyn, he's talking to her off screen. Mm. Okay, special serum for disposing of the E series test subjects. It could be it could destroy Evelyn if injected into her. I think we have our final weapon. Fuck this. Oh, wow. Well, this is going in depth. Project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts for the company's Nexpis okay, initiative, working with the technical assistance from HCF. Okay. If you've ever played Code Veronica, Albert Wesker, HCF. Fuck. All right. Now I see where this connects to the whole Resident Evil thing. To develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combat Battens, and with minimal direct contact. What makes this project marked re mark different from the conventional weapons is the ability to turn enemy combatants into allies. Yeah, not zombies where you can't do anything about it. Converting uh, hostile elements into willing servants. Since it effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself. It's no wonder we had the blank, and even blanks and blanks, organization chopping at the bit to get on board project would have never existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank the remarkably progressed vicarant evolution fungus that we commonly term the name term the mutem site the fabrication method for each bioweapon was introduced the blah blah blah, blah genium to the priest stage for human embryo and perform cultivations in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. In other words, this takes a long time. The result, resultant organism, organisms were referred to as a candidate sus, sus, be, 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 uh, candidate awesome uh, graded based on usability and from the impracticality and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. Common appearance is a 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in urban refugee population. Damn, they evil. 
For a C-series specimen named Evelyn has proved capable of secreting the blank from her tissue at will. It also, it is also of note that Evelyn's imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into the host's organism. So in other words, that's why Mia was hallucinating on the boat and stuff like that. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the blah, 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 scientific stuff. Evelyn control is ex exerted in a series of discrete stages. First is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is, in fact, not there. Okay, so Ethan has not really seen Evelyn besides that one time in her room. Other than that, there hasn't been really any sighting. It's only been Mia, so Mia is really the infected one. Even hearing her voice, which is inaudible to anybody else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. She's fucked up. Uh, the psychological shock, uh, shock that it induces to help break down the mind natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time the mental control is achieved, the infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, and so the body is fucked. I'm assuming that's what it says. Wow. That was a lot of scientific info. At least we know how she knows it. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh, another one? Uh, no, I read this one, right? Treatment of accidental infections, performing the uh, serum. I'm not going to read all of this. In an experience, we found multiple occasions that the infected subjects were compiled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if they were really their her daughter or their daughter um so that's how they got her on the boat why did she settle upon a family as a theme for her mental control uh, social groups then a lone girl one on the other hand well a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing a parent's love well parents love or not i'm gonna fuck you up evelyn let's do this Okay, so we have hit the save room here. Oh, they gave us flame rounds. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. Well, I think I'm gonna stop it there, but I think next part, I, I'm assuming, and I'm assuming it might bite me in the ass, but um, last part is next part. So I'm gonna play from here on to the end. And we'll have like a little special final episode. Um, but I hope you guys have been enjoying. Make sure you hit that like button, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And I will check you guys next time on Resident Evil 7. Check you guys later. Peace. Laters.